Linda Valella, and I'm the director of the Miami City Ballet School, and I'm his boss. <laughs> uh, Edward Valella, uh, founding artistic director and CEO of the Miami City Ballet Company. I met Edward because I was working on the Dorothy Hamill television specials, and they told me they had this guy who was a famous ballet dancer called Edward Valella, and I'd heard of him, but I didn't really know who he was. I'd never seen him dance. And a friend of mine who was in NBC told me that he'd been a truck driver till he was 21, and that, um, you know, then he found ballet. So I was expecting to come in and see this truck driving kind of guy with a short sleeve t shirt with cigarettes here and tattoos on his arms. And I also kept saying to them, he's in ballet, he's not going to be commercial enough for television. Why are you hiring him? So I was also telling them not to hire him. And I got on the plane and I flew out to uh, New York and um, I saw this wonderful, very attractive man and I was very touched because he had very sad brown eyes and I also remember he had a stain on his turtleneck which I really liked because in LA nobody walked outside without a, with a stain on their shirts. So I thought he was a real man. <laughs> I was in London and uh, actually I was having my back taken care of. And I got a phone call from my agent asking me if I would like to dance on and choreograph a Dorothy Hamill special. And I said I knew nothing about that. Uh, excuse me, I knew nothing about ice skating, and no, I did not want to do it. Uh, I got another call and another call, and the third call said, "Well, listen, if you know nothing about ice skating, we will provide you with a former Canadian national figure skating champion." Uh, who has been an, uh, uh, a choreographer for Dorothy Hamill, and we will provide her as your assistant. So I finally said, okay, and I flew in from London. Uh, the producers with Linda flew in from Los Angeles. We met in their hotel, and uh, I walked in, and, and I saw this very, very attractive young Blondie there, and uh, I said, who is that? And they said, that's your assistant. And I said, thank you very much. And you were expecting a big... Well, I was expecting uh, uh, an out of shape, overweight, uh, retired, ice skating lady. In a purple skirt. <laughs> In a purple skirt and white gloves. <laughs> she was very endearing, very sweet. Uh, when I really knew uh, how I felt about her was uh, when we were in Canada and doing some uh, off-site ice uh, stuff outside and there's a warming hut and Linda was working with kids and I watched her with the kids and it was terrifically endearing and I said that is not only a very very attractive and sexy lady but boy she knows and she likes and loves kids. Linda is convinced uh, she does not work for me. <laughs> and maybe it's the reverse, that I work for her. <laughs> uh, so I spend a lot of time suggesting to her she is not my boss. <laughs> we try not to talk about like at home. <laughs> Otherwise, we get into fights, so we kind of keep clear of that subject. We try and talk about other things. No, but it, it certainly does come up, and, and it comes up mostly when there are, uh, are financial complications. And in a not-for-profit, you always have fiscal difficulty. I love to go out to eat and to a movie, very basic, simple kind of stuff. We do so many other things in terms of going out. We're always at dinners and galas and functions and all of those kinds of things. So the, the simplest and quietest of things uh, appeal, absolutely appeal. And it's nice when we're uh, just alone together because when we're at galas, we, I never have a chance, obviously, to talk to Edward. He never really gets a chance to sit down and eat. Everyone's grabbing him and pulling him. So. It's nice for us when we can go and sit quietly in a quiet restaurant, really, really talk. It's 
nice. Are we ready? Without lying. <laughs> I put an Italian restaurant with Edward's picture hanging up. Oh, that's right. Spaghetti and meatballs. I have so many. <laughs> you can't I, I, have to, I have to get, get down there and through there. Um, I, I work too long and too hard. Don't consider her enough in terms of my time. That's actually a better one than I wrote. <laughs> I wrote, you interrupt me all the time. <laughs> I'm always telling him what to do. I want it now, right? <laughs>